Hi guys! I wanted to show you quickly how I like to break up my comic pages into panels in Clip Studio Paint. Now I've already broken up the rough page um, into panels with the panel breaking tool in Clip Studio Paint and you can find videos on YouTube on how to do that first. I do this first to have a clean view of how the panels look like before I start manipulating them. So I right click on my first folder which will hold all the art and texture of the first panel. Go down to layer mask and choose mask outside selection. Then I'm going to click on this icon here with the eyeball and click show mask area. I get the rectangular selection tool, make my selection to fill most of the panel, leaving the edges, and I fill it. It doesn't matter where the color picker is at, no matter what, the mask will show up white. So, now you can choose whatever brush you want. I like this dry bristle round hard gouache brush because it leaves a nice texture. And then I'm just going to paint in the remaining edges of the panel. And of course, if you need to, you can use the eraser tool to fix whatever mistakes you make. To see what it looks like against a white background, we can make a layer in that folder. Pick whatever color is dark enough to show up, make a selection encompassing all of the panel mask, and fill it with that color. Then we go back to the eyeball icon, unclick show mask area, and now we can see more clearly what the panel shape is like. You can hide whatever layers you need to to see that better and turn the show mask icon on and off whenever you need to as well. So now we go to the second folder for the second panel. Again, right click, go down to layer mask, mask outside selection, click on the show mask area again and fill the panel again. Whee! Paint, paint, paint. Now you can also use transform to manipulate the panel shape. I like to use both free transformation and mesh transformation. With free transform, you can skew the shape as more of a whole, while with mesh transform, you can pull out more specific parts of the shape. Okay, so now we're going to put some artwork in this panel. I'm going to make a new layer and um, draw something. Anything. Something quickly. <laughs> Probably a face. Yes, it was a face. If you tried to use the transform tool on the panel now with the artwork or text in the folder, then everything will transform together. You may not want that. So what you can do is unclick this check mark um, connecting the folder contents to the panel mask. Make sure you click on the panel mask, which is this black box here, and then when you transform, only the panel changes. Huzzah! So now in the video, I'm just going ahead and roughly doing the rest of the panels on my page. La di da, la di da. Remember, this is how I like to break my panels. You can manipulate your panels however you want and get really creative with the shapes using whatever tools you can. Okay, we're almost getting there to the next part of the baby tutorial. As you saw with that last panel, I took a different approach and drew the panel border first before using the paint bucket tool to fill it in. What I'm starting to do now is creating a new layer in each folder and filling it with a dark color. This is going to help me see and fine tune the, sh the panel shapes even more clearly. So once they've all been made, I can turn everything else off, like the layers with your sketches on it or whatnot, and leave the page blank. As you can see, the panels clearly need a bit more refining, so I just go back one by one and work on them. Later, when I have text and colored artwork on the page, I can still go back and fiddle with the panels to improve them even more. So I hope this video was helpful. I would love to hear your comments and talk about how you like to make your comic panels or organize your comic pages in general. 
thanks for watching and have a great day oh and a special hello and goodbye to my two new subscribers thanks again bye